Welcome to step two in this series of setting up Citrix DAS on Citrix Cloud. In this video, we'll focus on installing the Citrix Virtual Delivery Agent, or VDA. The VDA software is installed on the virtual or physical machine users will connect to, enabling a rich user experience with full IT policy control. Download the VDA software by clicking the Downloads button in the upper right corner of the Citrix DAS overview screen within Citrix Cloud. Alternatively, you can navigate to the VDA download area from citrix.com downloads when signed in. Choose the appropriate VDA type based on your OS platform and delivery model. Both single session and multi-session options are available. For this example, we'll just enable direct connections to a specific domain joined Windows 11 virtual machine. So we'll choose the single session type and download it. After waiting a moment for the file to download, we'll run it with administrative privileges on our Windows 11 VM. We'll select the option for a machine provisioned with other technologies, since we're not using machine creation services or Citrix provisioning in this simple demo. For details on these topics, as well as Azure Active Directory and non-domain joined scenarios, refer to Citrix Docs. We'll click Next, as we don't need to install the Citrix Workspace app client software within our desktop. That would be useful for double hop scenarios where you connect to a published app from within a published desktop, perhaps from a thin client endpoint. Now, we're presented with additional components that we can install. There's a lot of value here, and we'd recommend learning more through Citrix Docs and other resources. We'll bypass them for now. Next, on the Delivery Controller screen, we need to specify the cloud connectors that we created in the first step. We'll enter the FQDNs of both cloud connectors and test connectivity before adding them. Then, click Next. On the Features screen, we need to specify if the VDA is installed within the public cloud and optionally enable other capabilities. This test VDA is installed within the public cloud, so we'll choose that option and then click Next. We'll take the defaults for automatic firewall configuration, but note that your specific requirements may vary. Finally, we click Install. The installation process of the VDA takes several minutes. When you are prompted with the diagnostic screen, we recommend keeping this enabled and logging in with your Citrix Cloud credentials. This will allow Citrix Cloud support services to proactively help and resolve issues. Click Next and then finish to complete the process. The machine will restart. This concludes step two of installing your first Citrix Virtual Delivery Agent. In the next step, we will create a machine catalog. 